I wanted to share with you a little project I've been working on today. So over the holidays, I picked up a virtual reality exercise bike. It's the Verzoom, V-I-R-Z-O-O-M.com. And it's the exercise bike that you see in the thumbnail there. It's compatible with the PlayStation VR, the Oculus, and the HTC Vive. I have the HTC Vive, and I've been getting exercise in the thing while playing their little mini games where you can bike in the Tour de France or have a tank battle. They have an SDK, which is a bunch of scripts, prefabs, and an environment that you can bring into Unity here. And the player controller allows you to set all sorts of different things around, uh, whether you can bike backwards, forwards, um, pitch roll, all those kind of things. And you can build your own game within, I was up and running within a few minutes. And then I brought in some prefabs from Unity, this little one pizza delivery driver town. And uh, I took the, one of the uh, vehicles um, from that and put it around the player controller. So I got it up and running. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm connected via Bluetooth to my computer and bike. And they have a simple little configuration here. All I got to do is pull both triggers while staying in the center of the vehicle. And there I go. Now I'm in the game and I'm just going to lean to steer. So when I'm going through the game, I just lean here and I'll steer the vehicle. And then I pedal to go forward or pedal to go backwards. So I've got it set up in this town. Here I go. I'm going to go down the hill. So I've got some colliders where the wheels are and the body of the vehicle. So I can just run along the ground. Very simple. I didn't model the interior of the vehicle. I was just wanted to get it up and running and have an environment that I could play around in. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom here over the jump. Got gravity set nice and easy so that I get these nice smooth um, movements. Um, I don't want anything too jarring in VR. And then I lean to turn around the corner. Because what happens in VR is if you run into something, and I'll run in here, and you have that abrupt stop, what ends up happening is you feel like you should be going forward and you, you're not, or stopping abruptly. And so your stomach gets a little bit uneasy if you do that. So I do have to have some colliders around things in the environment, but in general, I want the movement to be nice and smooth as I'm going over jumps. And that's what they had as defaults. And I played around with it and found that was actually really nice. So all I have to do is build a little game around this where I can uh, deliver pizzas. And I got this thing up and running all within a matter of an, less than an hour, um, about 15 minutes to get up and running with the uh, SDK and then just spent a bunch of time building the environment and playing around in it. So it's a lot of fun. You should give it a try.